Hey there, Mephisto here, welcome to the Anarchy Gaming channel and today I'm going to start off a new let's play. Yes, a new one, I know I only just started the Stardew Valley let's play, however I just, I, I want to do at least a couple of let's plays, uh, that way there will be a little bit of variety on the channel and that way I won't get bored doing the same thing over and over again and you won't, won't get bored looking at the same thing over and over again so uh, that's why I'm starting a new let's play and don't worry the F1 challenge VB series is coming back very shortly I only have a couple of races left to record out of the 1970 season once I'm done with that I'll start editing and as soon as I'm done editing I'll start uploading the videos but uh, for now we are going to do this and I decided to play a little bit of Mountain Blade Warband, a game I very, I look, I like a very, eh, if I can speak, a game I like very much. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, uh, Warband is a open world, open ended RPG, meaning that there's no storyline of so, of sorts. So uh, you you are, it's pretty much up to you to, uh, you know make up your own story as you go so uh, it's it's a really really fun little game i really enjoy it. it and another thing that's kind of different from most other rpgs is that there is no magic in this game you uh, the game tries to depict sort of a realistic uh, medieval setting so that's really really nice as we take uh, as, as this um, sort of menu kind of implies as we're looking at these no uh, Norse warriors here. Anyway, let's um, start a new game here. Uh, this will take a little while to load, but we're done. And um, feel free to pause and read all of this. I'm just going to go on and uh, pick the character that I want. Uh, this is the character creation creation screen by the way um the way the way you create your character in mount and blade um yeah mount and blade warband is uh you kind of create sort of a background story for your character first uh, and this is actually quite important because it isn't just fluff or just uh you know flavor text uh, this does actually affect the base stats of your character character as well as how the world perceives you and how the world around acts uh, uh, when they interact with you so uh, what I'm going to go for is something I don't actually tend to do a lot but uh, for the sake of the, this let's play I want to make it a little bit more interesting I'm, and I'm going to go for sort of a uh, a very low ranked character who Decides that he had enough uh, uh, of a thieving life and decide, decides to sort of um, re to uh, you know uh, I I really cannot find the words <laughs> today. Um, so I'm going to go for a thief character who decides to uh, redeem himself and start a new and a new in this new land he's going into. So anyway, let's click on continue. My my character is going to be a male, uh, a thief, a street urchin, a game poacher, and huh. Let's say being forced out of our home. Okay, so that's pretty much our character done become an adventurer and here we are at the stats screen and first we need to choose how the game is going to uh, behave you you can set uh, no quitting without saving or allow me to quit without saving and I'm going to go for realistic normally you wouldn't want to do this because the game does tend to uh, crash at times so uh, you might want to be able to uh, you might well actually the reason why you would want to allow me to allow 
quitting without saving is maybe you've done something dumb and want to revert. However, I don't really want to do that. I, I want to have a more realistic approach. So if I do something dumb, then that's going to, uh, you know, bite us in the ass later on. Anyway, uh, so let's choose that. Yeah, let's choose a name for this. And I'm going to call him Will... For a name for our character, Willie. I'm going to call him William the Brave. There we go. Not William. Oh, damn it. <laughs> William the Brave. I don't know how a thief is brave, but oh well. And we have uh, three columns here attributes, skills, and proficiencies. Uh, I'm not going to really talk about this in depth. There are plenty of other people doing let's plays on this who can better explain how all of this works. Anyway, I'm going to put one point into strength, um, two into agility, and I think uh, one more into strength. Why not? So we have six skill points to uh, spend. I'm going to put two into Iron Flesh that raises up our health a little bit. Uh, put one point into uh, Power Strike that will help us deal more damage. Um, we have one point in Weapon Master which is really nice. Let's put one point into Horse Archery that should help. Um, one point into trainer, yeah, and one point into prison management. Prisoner management, that way we can have prisoners, which is really, really good, because then you can sell those prisoners for money, uh, which is always very nice. Okay, proficiencies, let's dump a couple, couple of positions into one-handed weapons and the few into archery. I'm going to mainly focus on a one-handed slash archer guy, one-handed weapon and shield and archery. And the remaining uh, let points, let's put them into pole arms. Those are also kind of good. Okay, we're done with that. Uh, let's kind of choose our character. I kind of like the face, I guess. Let's choose a different hairstyle. Um, yeah, that kind of works. He almost, hair-wise, he almost looks like me. Hair color, can we get it any darker than that? Apparently not. Oh well. And you know, no facial hair because I don't have any facial hair either. Okay. Well, I do have some facial hair, but, you know, <laughs> it's more like fluff than actual facial hair. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm okay with that. I'm not going to bother, you know, making him look any better than that. So let's do that. And I'm going to choose my starting location as Kingdom of Swadia. Did, or Swadia. I'm not... Uh, this doesn't really affect much, only the starting position. It's not like you join the faction immediately. The only way you, if you want to join, you can still join any faction you want. But I, I'll choose Swadia because it's kind of a, an easier-ish starting location, I guess. So let's pick that, click continue, continue. And we are, we should start the game. I have okay and here is our guy let's press R I always play from a first person perspective and there should be a guy coming around that corner real soon I'm not going to move from here there we go come on oh come on hit him Oh boy, this is not good. Whoo, 
nearly died there. Well, actually... Actually, I'm doing pretty well, to be honest. <laughs> oh, boy. Are you trying to kill me? No, you're not. I know you're not. Get away! Okay. And this is a tutorial, really, so... Ah. Let's go talk to this guy. He will give us a quest. Yes, I'm interested. Let's do that. Again, if you want to read all of this, you can pause and read it. I'm not going to. It doesn't really affect... Again, there's no real storyline in this, so... There's not much that happens. Anyway, let me quick, take a quick look at our inventory. Uh, put our meat over there. We need this because you need meat to feed your troops. And as well as money to pay them, obviously. Uh, let me equip uh, my bow and arrow. Those throwing knives I will knives I will sell eventually. I will sell sell these furs as well at some point, but for now uh, let's move on to Asgard, Asgard here and get some troops up. Re re okay, no one wants to join. That kind of sucks. Um, okay, let's go up to Gizem or Jism or whatever. And hopefully there will be someone all around there who will be willing to join our army. We need five guys to be able to uh, sort of... No! For a stroll, are we? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, well, I'm not going to surrender, so uh, let's hope that I can deal with these guys. God damn it. I... Oh boy. There they are. Um, let me go up here. And wait for them here. I'm going to... What? what? Uh, as soon as they get a little bit closer, I'll start pelting them with arrows, but until then I'll just sit here Oh boy This might be a very 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 bad start for us <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can Oh Nope Come on Shoot. Come on. Hit someone. There we go. Okay, I think it's time that I get a move on. Come on, horsey. Move it. That won't really work because my horse archery is really low. Oh boy. I really got myself in quite a bit of trouble here. <laughs> I should have been a little bit more careful. Okay, can we... I don't think so. We are quite far away and nowhere near him. <sighs> Why do I do dumb things? Looks like this guy at least got rid of his ammo. Come on. Oh, come on, stop missing. Really? Stop missing. Oh, damn it. Come on. There we go, finally, I hit someone. Uh, 
and it looks like these guys are out of projectiles, which is nice. I still will try to kind of cause as much damage with my arrows before getting my axe out. Ooh. Okay, I'm out of arrows. Oh, that was... <laughs> that wasn't good. Let's... There we go. So we got... We killed one dude. Uh, that wasn't anywhere near him. Kind of hit him, but didn't really cause any damage. Only caused him to stagger a little bit. Come on. Ooh, that missed by a country mile there. Come on, I don't want to die. Okay, I managed to deal some damage there, which is nice. Okay, let's pick this dude off. Oh, don't... Okay, some more damage, which is nice. Ooh, he dodged, uh, managed to block that. Nice, I guess, for him. Oh, come on, stop missing. Okay, he should... And he's dead, that's nice. He's dead, so we, it looks like we might be able to survive this, which is obviously very good. And now let's kill this guy. Whew! Wow! <laughs> ah. Thank goodness we managed to survive that. And anyway, let's pick this up. We can sell it later and... Ooh, that's better armor, so let's change it. And this also adds some armor, so let's take that as well. Nice! And now let's go to Gizm. Oh, and I managed to kill all of them, it seems, so no um, prisoners for us. Oh, five people are willing to join us, that's nice. Which means we can complete this quest, or rather continue the quest, because it's not over just yet. Um, let's get go back to Praven, or Praven, or... Deserters, we don't want to get involved with those guys. Those have in are stupidly powerful. Especially for us at this point. And it's getting dark. But anyway, let's get back to pra Praven, Praven, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Let's uh, first go to the marketplace and see if we can sell any of the stuff we have. Oh, we can sell, sell at least. Yeah, we'll sell a bit of fur that will give us a little bit of money. And let's sell that and that and that and that. Now it looks like we can sell everything and that way we'll have a little bit of a little bit more money, which is always a good thing. Let's head back and go into the tavern and talk to the merchant who gave us the quest. Oh, little bit of a lag, a little bit of lag there. Don't know why, but let's talk to you. I still need more men. You said five. What the hell? I never had this happen before. Uh, I went all the way there and there was a town right here. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh boy. But he said five. Why, why do I need more than five? We are six in total. 
Oh well. Recruit volunteers. Yeah, three people want to join. That's nice. That's a total of nine people now. Uh, let's go back to Praven, Proven, whatever you want to call it. Uh, back to the tavern. Now let's talk to this guy again. Yay! Let's hunt for bandits then. Press tab and let's leave. And the bandits are right there. Okay, well, they kind of disappeared all of a sudden. There they are. So let's go get them. Yeah, we should be able to catch up to them. There we go. So let's charge this small little army. Um, I think they're right over there. So what I'm going to do is run on top of this hill. Give me a little bit of range. Oh, we're really close to these guys. Ooh, nice. That was a nice hit. Ooh, nice hit. Unfortunately, they're hitting me as well. At least they're preoccupied trying to hit me and they're not looking behind them, which is brilliant. <laughs> Let's take out my axe. And he's dead. Oh, I... Yeah, I didn't get... No. Come on. There we go. We have one wounded, and we managed to, well, wound a bunch of them, and this allows us to go to continue our story. Uh, we also get free prisoners, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's take all of that, 11 to armor, 10, I will actually swap those out. All right. And some of our troops are ready to upgrade. Nope. Uh, P. Let's do that. We have a Swadian Militia, which is really, really nice. That's a more powerful unit than the recruits, obviously. So now we're done with that. And I think that's the... Yep. That's the hideout. So let's go over there. By the time we get there, I should actually heal up almost completely, yeah. So, let's charge the hideout, come on. And attack it. Let's finish this up right quick. And, ooh. I heard that. Come on. How am I even missing? Okay, anyway, he's dead. Come on, hit him. Okay, nice. Okay, let's get in here. He said. Where is he? I can hear his... I can hear arrows. Oh, there you are. Just standing like an idiot. Perfect. <laughs> oh, the AI sometimes. 
Oh, stop moving. <laughs> Thankfully, you moved right into the path of my arrow. And there we have it. I managed to kill that guy. Actually... Okay, let's... Uh, that was why we were so... I was doing so well. There we go. We're done with that. Let's... Pick up all this loot. We'll sell it in town. I'll pick up as much of this loot as possible, really. Okay. That's all we can do, and I saw... Yeah, those are better. More armor is always good. So let's head back to Praven here. Go to Marketplace and try and sell our stuff here. No, 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 no. Okay, return. Uh, let's go to someone else. Sell that. Should be able to sell everything, really. Dum -de dum -de dum da dum dum. There we go. I'm not selling you my furs. Because they're not offering a pretty, very good price. Uh, and. Hmm. Yeah, why not? We have the money. Add some variety to our uh, food. Let's go back to the tavern. Speak to the guy because this uh, tutorial quest isn't over yet. So, F. Yeah, yeah. There's more stuff to do. Bloody, 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 blah. Alright, I'll lead your man. Give him the sign. And we have some more battling to do. There you are. Okay, I'm going to get my axe out here because it'll be better damn i move slow i really need to put some points into my athletic skill come on so those two aren't down um let's see who else we can get around here Dude, are you fighting with your fists alone? Ooh boy, there are a lot... Shoot. That was... Ooh boy. Oh, damn it. Damn it. This is not good. Oh boy. Did we win at least? Oh, at least we survived somehow. There we go. <laughs> That's the first time I ever lost in that uh, uh, engagement. So uh, that's kind of um, <laughs> embarrassing. Anyway, let's leave. Actually, let's get back because the guy still has something to tell us. Um, let's talk to him. Yeah, once again, you can read that if you want. Okay, yeah. Bring your purse and let's sell our dudes for. There we go. Pretty nice money. And with that, we made a little bit more money off of those 
looters we or bandits we captured which is very very nice and there are people who are ready to upgrade let's do that and I'm really really wounded so I think I'm going to call it today I will go back to Provan actually and uh, rest up around here for a little while until I heal up and I'm going to call it a day or a video for now there's really no point in continuing the way I am because I only have 11% of my health up so we cannot do re too much as we are right now so yeah I will heal up and we'll continue on next time so I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching uh, like comment and subscribe also click on the notification bell that way you might get notified whenever I upload a new video and if you feel so inclined check out my patreon page if you want to support the channel but once again i hope you enjoyed this video thank you all so much for watching see you all next time and until then take care and stay sharp